And if you are single today and you're struggling and maybe you're debating about whether or not you should remain single and you just and overall you just feel discontent, I would encourage you to rest in the Lord. Rest that he is enough. Rest that he is far more sufficient than any person on this world. And as I conclude today's episode, I want to read a text out of Psalm 73 verses 25 and 26. And the text reads, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire beside you. My heart and my flesh may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. At the end of the day, my friends, all we have is God. Whether it's in heaven or on earth, all we have is God. And even though our flesh and our heart may fail, God is our strength forever. And I want you to rest with that for a second because based on what I said earlier, because because we put on all these expectations on ourselves, it's easy to be restless. It's easy to be content. It's easy to complain and and, and moan about why why I'm why I'm still single. And you know what? Rest in the Lord. Rest in him. Trust in him. Trust in his timing for you. If 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 it's meant to be, amen. Isn't if it's not meant to be, amen. Just recognize that God is enough for you. He is your portion. He, he is with you to the end. Even at times where, where we fail him. Even at times where we have disobeyed from him and strayed far from him. But yet, as soon as we turn back to the Lord, he's right there to accept us. He's right there to, to bring us back into the fold and love us. And meet us where we're at and continue his, his work in our lives. And of course, let us not forget the gospel. The fact that you that you and I could even have a relationship with God today, it is only because of Jesus Christ. Because apart from him, there's only condemnation. But with him, salvation. We are reconciled to a holy God by the blood of Jesus. We are regenerated by the Holy Spirit in which we have a new heart and a new mindset. And we have his word to guide us, to give us discernment, to equip us, to allow us to live the life that God has has enabled us to live. Friends, that is more than enough. If you if if you want contentment, look at God. Look at him, rest in him, continue to seek him. Seek him like never before. And and I'm not just telling you that because I've mastered it. No, I'm telling you something that I have to often tell myself to rest in God because otherwise you're just going to be discontent. You're just going to be restless. I think of um the quote famous quote by Augustine that says our hearts are restless until they find rest in you and my friends there's no greater rest than to than the love of God the fact that God can call you his child it is no greater privilege the fact that you can have a relationship with him from now until forever to eternity that's more that's that's all that's that's all you need and I feel like We've underval we've undervalued that, or if anything, we've neglected that. But because we're so concerned about, man, I need to get married. I have to be in a relationship. I have to do this and that. I have to meet someone else's expectations. I have to fulfill my path. No, like no. Listen, rest in God. Okay, rest in God. Again, as I said just now, if it is His will for you to be in a relationship, Amen. If it's not, Amen. Because either way. Whether you're single or in a relationship, God is enough for you. And I would encourage you to rest in that today.